Madam Thank you, Madam Speaker. 19 minutes. 19 minutes. Four years ago on Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2017, 19 minutes into President Trump's administration, at 12.19 p.m., the Washington Post headline was, Campaign to Impeach President Trump Has Begun. And now, with just one week, uh, week left, they're still trying. In seven days, there will be a peaceful transfer of power, just like there has been every other time in our country. But Democrats are going to impeach President Trump again. This doesn't unite the country. There's no way this helps the nation deal with the tragic and terrible events of last week that we all condemn. And Republicans have been consistent. We've condemned all the violence all the time. We condemned it last summer. We condemned it last week. We should be focused on bringing the nation together. Instead, Democrats are going to impeach the president for a second time one week, one week before he leaves office. Why? Why? Politics and the fact that they want, to, they want to cancel the president. The president who cut taxes, the president who reduced regulations, the president prior to COVID had the greatest economy, lowest unemployment in 50 years, the president who got us out of the Iran deal, put the embassy in Jerusalem, brought hostages home from North Korea, put three great justices on the Supreme Court, gave us a new NAFTA agreement, the Abraham Accords, the COVID vaccine, and who built the wall. It's about politics. This is about getting the President of the United States. They spied on his campaign before he was elected. 19 minutes into his presidency, they started the impeachment push. Three-year Mueller investigation, 19 lawyers, 40 agents, 500 witnesses, 2,500 subpoenas, $40 million to find nothing. Impeachment round one based on an anonymous whistleblower with no firsthand knowledge who was biased against the President and who worked for Joe Biden. And now it's impeachment round two. It's always been about getting the president, no matter what. It's an obsession, an obsession that has now broadened. It's not just about impeachment anymore, it's about canceling, as I've said. Canceling the president and anyone that disagrees with them. The Ayatollah can tweet, the president can't. Democrats can object on January 6, 2017, but Republicans aren't allowed to object on January 6, 2021. Democrats say Antifa is a myth. Republicans condemn all violence all the time. The double standard has to stop. And frankly, the attack on the First Amendment has to stop. And stop and think about it. Do you have a functioning First Amendment when the cancel culture only allows one side to talk? When you can't even have a debate in this country, this great country, the greatest country ever? It needs to stop because if it continues, if it continues, it won't just be Republicans who get canceled. It won't just be the President of the United States. The cancel culture will come for us all. Right. America is a great country, the greatest country ever. And it seems to me that we, we need to think about how great the people of this nation really are. Think about what we, we've accomplished in the past and, and begin to come together as leaders who represent so many great folks across our districts. Think about this. Think about this. In 1903, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, two guys fly this thing they called a plane 100 feet. Barely got off the ground. Barely got off the ground. Amazing thing. 44 years later, Chuck Yeager breaks the sound barrier. In 44 years, we go from two guys flying a contraption they called a plane a few hundred feet to Chuck Yeager breaking the sound barrier. And 22 years after that, 22 years after that, another American steps on the moon. Think about it. In one lifetime, in 66 years, two guys find 100 feet to putting a man on the moon. That's what this country is capable of. That's what we can do. And we as the Congress who represent the people who did that should start leading, should start understanding what really is going on here. So I hope, I hope we defeat this. I hope we can begin to come together and recognize the greatness of the, of the American people and focus on the things they want us to focus on.